What's good guys, Arnold Telega Arda here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing Hey Arnold, where you ask me your questions and I answer them. Let's get started. All right, first question comes from Ebony Marie Chavez, and she asks, what's one food you really love to eat that not a lot of people like? Well, that's a good question. Um, I've answered this before, and I said Dini Guan, um, a Filipino traditional dish, but I'm trying to think if there's anything new that I like. I like crocodile. I've had crocodile before. Alligator? Was it alligator? Either alligator or crocodile. I had that before, and I loved it. And I know some people that don't like it, but to me, it just, it just tasted like fried catfish and it was delicious. Ange asked, sing a Filipino love song. Oh man, I wish Hart was here to help me out. But um, I do uh, remember this one song that Hart taught me. I actually performed it uh, for Hart's brother's birthday. Uh, and it goes like this. One look in a new ibana, malakit dumikit ang tingin na mata. One smile, ibana amata. Being a friend, um, ah, I don't, it's, but it, the chorus goes, This guy is in love with you, pare. This guy is in love with you, pare. And then, and then, uh oh. <laughs> Some of you guys who are Filipino might know that song. I think it's a really popular song. It's basically about um, a guy who is secretly in love with his best friend. And I guess the best friend is straight and he doesn't know that his, his friend is gay. So that's that's what that song is about and I, I sing it to Mitch. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciated that. Ebony, Ebony again, she asked, um, what is your definition of a perfect day? My perfect day is spending the whole day with heart, literally just playing board games, eating a lot of junk food, eating a lot of sweets, and then towards the end of the day, we cuddle with Junior and Barry and just all four of us being lazy in bed. That's a perfect day for me. Victor, Vic, sorry Victor, <laughs> Vicky Pinder asked, how do you keep the fire going in your relationship after so long being together? This August is our 10th year anniversary of us dating and I'm super, super excited for that. 10 years, that's how long Friends was on the air. We've, Hart and myself have done so many videos talking about, you know, like uh, trying to have a healthy, happy relationship. And basically, for us, it really helped us a lot that we were best friends for two years before we actually got together. So, um, you know, when we did start dating each other, we, I knew everything about her, she knew everything about me, and there was no, like, no, like, kind of, like, mind games and no, like, you know, we weren't wearing masks or anything like that. She knew all of my baggage and all that stuff. I would say, you know, you have to be best friends with the person that, you know, that you're dating. I shouldn't say you have to be because every relationship is different. But for us, it's, you know, like being best friends and also, you know, like um, being each other's like, you know, fiancés. It's, it goes hand in hand, you know, because like we spend 24-7 with each other. So it would help if you actually like the person that you're hanging out with, you know? I know some guys are kind of like, oh, I have to hang out with my girlfriend today. Sorry, fellas. I'm like, I actually like want to be with heart, like literally all the time as like, you know, clingy as it might sound to a lot of you guys. And I say that because she's my best friend. Like I, I rather, she's the only person that I want to be with 24 seven because she's like my best friend. And I'm like my complete self, like when I'm with her. And honesty, don't keep anything from each other. You know, always be honest. Make sure you guys build that trust. And um, what else, what else? Just just have fun with each other, man. Just, just have fun. Don't stop having fun. No matter if you're married for 10 years, you know, keep courting her. Always treat her like you would treat her if it was your first date with her. Um, Faith Hernandez asks, hey Arnold, can you speak Tagalog for one minute? I don't think I can, but I'll try. Um, hmm. Kamusta ka na? Uh, uh, tayo. Uh, mm, oh, malamig, di ba? I guess I can repeat those words over and over again for one minute, but would that count? <laughs> Ashley Marie asks, are there any plans for a Shadows reunion? Never say never, never, never. Who's Miranda asks, why did you decide to join YouTube? By the way, I love you in heart. Um, I love you too. Um, I decided to join YouTube because Hart at that time, um, you know, she already was doing YouTube full time and I didn't even have a channel. I was 
sorry, <laughs> I had a burp coming up. Um, I was interning at a law firm and um, was thinking about going to law school and all that. And then, you know, I would always show up in Hart's video doing boyfriend tags and all that. And, you know, everyone, including Hart, was telling me you should make a YouTube video. Um, just YouTube video. You should make a YouTube channel. I think it'll be a lot, I think it'll be super cool. And so I did it. I started making videos and I just fell in love with the whole process of being, you know, like uh, being in front of the camera, being able to talk to you guys. And I've been lucky enough to be able to do that full time. So thank you guys. So that's it for this. Hey Arnold, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos every single Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And until then, I'll see you next time. And cut. The name's Arnold, aka Mr. Hart. My grind never stops, no need to press start. All I do is work, ain't nobody that can stop me. My girl has a meeting, guess who takes her there? Me. Aw oh, yeah, what you know about my swag? Looking like a boss as I hold my girl's bag. Y'all can't touch me, I'm as fast as a jag. You know who it is, it's the king of boyfriend tag.